Starfield's been out for about two weeks now, and I can comfortably say that this is one of the best games that Bethesda's ever made. And I say that with high regards it, to Fallout, to Elder Scrolls, both the, of those franchises alike. Starfield's up right there with them, and it's really plain to see why. It's the Bethesda formula, again. Is Starfield groundbreaking in terms of gameplay? No, not really. But it is extremely addicting, and I can't stop playing it. I can't put it down. No matter what, I just want to play more Starfield. And that is extremely rare for a video game to do to me. Usually I get bored of a game pretty quickly, but Starfield has me hooked because there's so much to do. There's just a lot. And base building is one of my favorites so far. But, you know, from the start of the game, it's really slow. Yeah, we all know it's slow. Everybody's said that already. The game's slow. But once you get past that, once you hit about three or four hours, you're really given an entire universe to explore in terms of uh you know freewheeling gameplay you can go do anything it's it's an open universe it's not even an open world you fly wherever you you establish bases wherever it's a it's a fun game and it riffs off of no man's sky quite a bit but that's okay uh that's just fine i think it's really good i think that Bethesda is taking that formula and making it their own and kind of dumbing it down, not dumbing it down, but making it more compact and less travel oriented because in No Man's Sky, you're flying around in the ship and, um, you know, you're manually controlling it, which would have been cool for Starfield to have, but I can understand the scope of the game isn't exactly built for that. This is a Bethesda game, you know, there's loading screens, so we kind of have to deal with that. But there's so much to do in this game, and so many people were t giving this game really, f they, were, they were grading this game really fast, and I thought that was kind of disingenuous, because I mean, it takes a while to really get the feel of a Bethesda game, how it plays, and where it really ranks amongst the other Bethesda games that people seem to love. And this one is no different. This one is truly a work of art. I don't know about a masterpiece, but it's definitely a Bethesda masterpiece. Uh, it's, it's a hard eight for sure, and I want to even give it a soft nine. But all of that aside, it's, it's a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun base building. Like like I said, it's just so addicting. You're given so many components to build this gigantic base of your own, this space base, and you can put crew inside of the base to have them work for you and help you out with the research and crafting and cooking. And There's so much crafting in the game, it's unreal. And that's where they really get you guys. That's where they really get you. Crafting and the base building mechanics people are you know talking about them badly online and how it seems to be a rip off of Fallout 4's base building well i never played Fallout well i played Fallout 4 but it's just i didn't like it and i never got into base building i thought it was just a pale imitation of a Fallout game i just didn't bother with it skipped it entirely so Starfield seems to be maybe like Fallout 4 is a bit better. I don't know. It's it's really fun. If if you like that kind of stuff, you're going to want to try Starfield because it's it's pretty addicting. Shipbuilding is also really fun. There's all, a ton of components, you know, to build your ship. That's it's just there's a whole cycle. You go to get credits and then you have to decide and credits are kind of limited early game, mind you. You have to decide what you want to do with those credits. You could purchase armor. You could purchase med kits, which you're going to need. I'm playing on it on very hard, by the way, so it's it is kind of tough. You got to stockpile on those med kits like crazy. You can spend it on ship upgrades. You can spend it on materials to help 
build your base. You can, I mean, there's so many other things you could do. You could spend it on weapons. You can, you know, build another ship. You could, I, I, I barely even scratched the surface of the game and I'm nearly like 90 hours in, I think. <laughs> so I, I'm not even done with the main story. I've been so distracted from the main story that it just, I'm not even getting around to it. I'm level 26 right now. And whenever I do some of the main story, it's like the levels are so low. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, I'm taking my time. It's one of those games where it really gives you a lot of freedom. And I really like that. Bethesda did such a good job with the launch of this game. Uh, you know, they, they really promised that there weren't going to be any game-breaking bugs. And so far, I... <laughs> Aside from some poor optimization issues, that's pretty much true. I haven't seen anything groundbreakingly bad uh, in terms of bugs for Starfield. There's been a few, of course, like, you know, an enemy freezing or just something stupid, just something getting stuck in the air. Typical Bethesda goofiness. But what can you ask for? I mean... You're gonna see it either way, and that stuff's gonna get patched out too. You know they're gonna they're gonna keep on fixing the game, and that's what's great about this. I think that uh, years of support down the line, official mod support is going to make this game really, really, really shine as a Bethesda title. And yeah, I just wanted to give a a quick review, an overview of how I really thought about this, and if you want me to see more videos on Starfield, please let me know. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.